today's topic is actually, as we're talking about emotions for the last month, you know, we talked about the emotion wheel and we learned how to identify our feelings and, and our emotions. And then we started talking about control and why we control things. And for today, it was just really on my heart for us to talk about the topic that it's okay to not be okay, right? Most of you know me, like, um, usually very cheerful, always, always very happy, very positive, very optimistic, but I want you to know that this is also a safe space and it's okay to not be okay. One of the other reasons why I decided to do this topic is I was in a meeting today and I'm the project manager for the group that I was working with. And this woman came on about 25 minutes late. And typically what we do in the beginning of the conversation is we, we do a check-in, you know, like, how's everybody doing? And it's not just, oh, I'm good. Like I really push them to share authentically how they're feeling, what's going on in your personal life, how is it affecting your professional life? So we did all that. And by the time she came on, we were in the business meeting. So people were giving their project status updates. And when it was her turn, she said, hey, um, this is my update, that da, da, da And we can hear this cracking in her voice, but her video was off. So I said, what's going on? She said, oh, sorry, I came in late. I didn't get to make the check-in part. I said, that's fine. What's going on? She said, nothing much. You know, you know, I have lupus and it flares up a lot. I was in the hospital, so I didn't get to go to that gala that I was telling you that I was excited about. Um, but yeah, I was just in the hospital, but everything is fine. And I'm like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You are not fine. And it is okay to not be okay. I understand that as women, we have so many roles and we have so many titles and jobs that we feel like we always have to be strong and we have to be resilient and we have to do all of this but it is okay to not be okay. So what I wanted to do today is to allow you to share space where you just talked authentically about how you're feeling and then we could pick up the pieces and then figure out what to do with it. But if we just come in here and we're like, oh, everything is good, you know, I'm, I'm just pushing through, then it's not always beneficial. So while I'm not all for rants and like a two hour event and session, I think at some point, you need to have a space where you can say to people who are like-minded, I'm not okay. I'm overwhelmed. There's too much going on. So what I want us to do is give voice to our emotions so that we can understand how we're feeling and then identify what we're doing as a result. For example, I told you that one thing that I struggled with and I'm still working through is emotional eating. So whenever I feel stressed or overwhelmed, I use food as comfort. I use food to pacify me. But the result is that I'm going to gain weight and then I'm going to be even more upset that I gain weight and then it's going to be this vicious cycle. So I really want to take a few minutes to just give everyone five minutes to share how they're feeling, not what's going on, but tell me the words that you're feeling. Think through the emotion wheel, look at it. What are the feelings that you're feeling and how is that showing up in your personal life? Are you overeating? Are you not sleeping? Are you not eating? Are you spazzing at your kids? How is that showing up? So Lisa, I'm going to start with you. Go ahead and share authentically how you're feeling, what's happening, and what's happening as a result of how you're feeling. So you kind of went out. I don't know if you asked me to go first. I'm pulling in by my house and the service might get a little wacky until I get inside. So did you ask me to go first? <laughs> I did. You want to go oh, last? Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, give me like five minutes and then I'll be able, I'll be in the house and then I can um, okay. talk. All right, All right. I'll let Tammy go because Arellis keeps popping in and out. 